I feel like the older we get as well, it's like less and less time we spend with our friends. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like sad. Yeah, I'm a big family. Family person. Per- family that's person, good. Yeah. yeah, that's that's always yeah. a good, good quality to have. I'd say that that's one other thing about the time off that you get because yeah. it's spending that time off yeah. to see the family yes. and to really like uh, spend proper time with them, yeah. right? Because phone calls here and there are, are good, or if yeah. you if you ever do a trip back yeah. home at one point yeah. for for something big, but it's not enough time. Yeah. It's like being able to spend, you know, like a proper month. What's good, people? My name is Damien Fadid, and many of you guys that's watching have probably just finished your exams like us. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about how to maximize your time off, enjoy your time off effectively. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm joined today with Armand. Armand is actually at St. John's College, Cambridge yeah. University. That's where I met you. And do you just want to introduce yourself to the people? Yeah, I'm uh, Armand de Lambley. I study history and politics at yeah. St. John's. Um, met Dami, we play football for yeah. St. John's College. You've actually it's featured it's in a lot of my. Yeah, like, well, yeah, 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 yeah. You scoring goals against <laughs> me, yeah. Um, uh, which yeah. is like, you selectively put the videos you wanted for. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> you're actually, you're, he actually is a good goalkeeper. Oh, like. Cheers, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I also um, do a f- some videos on YouTube, two main channels, uh, The Korean Englishman and Jolly. Yeah. Uh, I've been blessed with being able to have three trips to Korea yes. and discover the culture and what a ma- an amazing country it is. So that's part yeah. of my time off. You've actually got a good following. Do you know you've got people make edits about you? <laughs> <laughs> TikTok edits are just crazy. Where yeah. you're clear, man. There's so much like, love. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and it's just such a brilliant team. Yeah. And two guys that have been doing it for 10 yeah. years, Josh and Ali. And I'm so thankful for that. Yeah, usually I'm uh, sat next to Max. Yeah. Uh, our Max. Oh, Max. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I seen that, yeah. So, but today yeah. it's Dami. Army. 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 <laughs> just like, just like uh, okay. uh, the most oh, yeah. recent series. Yeah, it's the video, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Boot camp, they're Korean. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, look. Yeah. The, the hair's still gone, the hair's still gone, it's, it's growing crazy. back progressively. It was, so, it was a good watch that, I can't lie, yeah. it's a really good watch. And and, and people think that, you know, I'm wearing caps to hide it, like, no, <laughs> partially because the growing back phase isn't very yeah. nice, but also it's just because I, I, I like wearing caps sometimes, <laughs> Fair enough. especially with this. Oh yeah, love God, <laughs> love God clothing, man, yeah, that's lit. Yeah. And you know me, on any video, on most videos, okay. I always need some food. Oh yes, but, yes. Um, and I'm feeling a bit hungry, it's okay. lunchtime, man. So, uh, so brought <laughs> some <laughs> food. We thought, Dami and I, that the best place oh, yeah. to grab food for this video. There's so, ma- there's so yeah, much in Cambridge. Cambridge, but one thing that every student yes, has sir. at least once in their time here is gardenia. So, yeah, man, look. Here. Yes, sir. So, a little <laughs> pizza bread. Really? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go finish this food and then we'll come back and continue the conversation about time off. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was good, Three man. Eaten, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, just to kick off the conversation, what yeah. is your favorite memory of summer? I mean, let me start. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll just start. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> My favorite memory of summer was when I went to Japan last yeah. summer. It was like first ever time that I actually like went abroad proper. Yeah. I was uh, in Japan for two weeks for an exchange program yeah. to Nagoya University. And it was just amazing. A different perspective of life. Mm. What I found crazy was like, the streets were so clean. It's just like that small yeah. detail that like just blows my mind. Yeah. And it was just like super amazing. I'll literally never forget. I think that's like one of the favorite parts of my life. Like genuinely really? up there. What you, got, you? you got some vlogs as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Watch the vlog. <laughs> Go check out the vlog <laughs> of Japan. I vlogged it for two weeks. Yeah. Um, so it's so good. What's your favorite movie? Uh, well, I mean, on on a on a similar note, the furthest I've ever been from 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 home, London, uh, yeah. was summer two years ago, okay. 2022, yeah. where uh, we did our first trip to Korea yeah. with uh, six of the other boys, yeah. and it was just brilliant. It was like such a good memory to be with your close mates, school teachers as well, yeah. like like and discovering uh, a totally new culture. And yeah, you do feel like you're yeah. on a different planet. Yeah, literally. I think over time, having come back second and now third time, it's yeah. like you then learn to love yeah. the culture, the culture and, yeah. and see yourself 
part of it. Part of Almost, it. yeah. Which is really cool. Yeah, and you were there recently as well. So yeah, yeah, very recently, yeah. Basically. In Easter, so time off as well on that yeah, note. It's yeah. like, it's, I spend yeah. my time out of yeah. term here. And if I were talking to my director of studies, I'd be saying that yes. I'm working uh, <laughs> six weeks. But the reality yeah. is that sure. you're not. And you can use it a bit to catch up on work. Yeah. But mostly it's it's working on your, your yeah, side, side projects, projects and stuff like that uh but also taking yeah. a break yeah because academics is not just like your full life it's only a facet of your yeah you know of your identity exactly how important is it to be away from where you're raised up like we, you're french isn't it both my parents are french okay so uh i am like what you'd say like culturally french at okay. home i'd speak french yeah. uh eat french food uh say something you know. in french real quick bonjour Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you speak some French at the football training sessions. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, because yeah, so there's cool. a, there yeah, we so go, Swiss players yes. and, and, and French cool. as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but I was born in London, okay, which okay, meant okay, that, okay. which is why I speak like this probably. Okay. Yeah. And, and I have, uh, uh, and I went to British school the, yeah. my whole life. Okay. Um, which is why I've ended up in a British university. Okay. So I say I'm French in the heart, but British in the head. Okay, okay. For me, I live in Scotland, and yeah. obviously go to yeah. uni in England. Does that feel it's really cool to go uni away from where you live? It's mm. different. It, it just changes like mm. your view on life itself, mm. you know? Yeah. And I'd, I'd say that that's one other thing about the time off that you get, because yeah. Uh, now that my parents are back in in France, your family is in in Scotland. So, yeah. It's spending that time off yeah. to see the family yes. and to really spend proper time with them, yeah. right? Because phone calls here and there are, are good. Or if yeah. you if you ever do a trip back yeah. home at one point um, yeah. for for something big, but it's not enough time. Yeah. It's like being able to spend, you know, like yeah. a proper month. Yeah. You know, this this summer yeah. I'm spending a month in Britain yeah. where I'll be off the charts, you know, okay. uh, not, n not, not connected on anything, yeah. not focused on my work. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the yeah. older we get as well, it's like less and less time we yeah. spend with our friends. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's quite sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's these it's, times it's, that we kind of sense. build it up. I'm know? a big, yeah, I'm a big family. Family person. Per family that's person, good, yeah. yeah. That's, that's always um, a good, good quality to have, for yeah. sure. For sure, for sure. What else do you consider a successful summer? I always try and, uh, travel to okay. save up so that I can travel a bit in summer okay uh, we spoke about those big trips yeah but I like also doing smaller trips okay. and and discovering places yeah. closer to yes home, yes so in that's, Europe. yeah okay uh, so I've always tried for the last five years to spend at least a week or so in Spain okay because I love Spain okay. I speak a bit of Spanish oh, wow, wow. Um, how many times have you been to Spain then I think like seven seven times seven times, times. Yeah. wow so you're you're comfortable then what do you think about maybe those that don't have the opportunity to travel abroad yeah. what do you think about like exploring even the places that are literally in the same countries like yeah. in a different city have you ever so, so that's that? one thing you know, before the video, we we're talking okay. about bucket lists and stuff. Yeah, yes, and, that's yes. a, and that's actually one thing that if I had to tick off, but, but not yet done, yeah. is properly explore the the UK. Okay. And it's it's something like I've been yeah. to a city here and there yeah. to visit a friend at university yeah. or whatever, but you don't really. It's what like I've never been to Scotland. Oh wow! Never. I would have imagined like yeah. you, maybe Edinburgh or something. Really? Yeah. Never. There's a lot of um, like Londoners yeah. that have like the no the most north they've ever been is Cambridge. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> it's so apart bad. from me, like the apart from visiting a friend for a night in Leeds. Oh wow! The That's the most lot. Wow! Is Why is that? I feel like it's just because London has a lot of everything that um, yeah. you need to see, so people don't feel the need to. You know, go, go yeah, and, and see anything else. I, I think it's sad, uh, and, and it's like you know, if you're based and brought up in London, yeah, yeah you won't generally move north yeah, throughout north, your yeah. th through your childhood, yeah. and so if you choose to go to a southern university, yeah. you won't really experience yeah. the north uh, at all. That's interesting. Um, I want to touch on using summer to expand any side projects mm. you've got. Use this as a chance to build up. Maybe you wanna focus on maybe starting your business on the side like mm. summer is the time you know mm. when you're at university you don't really get time to focus on all these 
you know, extracurricular things you've got. Somewhere is when you've, you're able to like push in 100%. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to touch on content creation. People are trying so, to get into that over summer. Yeah, yeah, I met lots of people um, at Cambridge that picked up a camera. Cambridge is like the breathing girl. I can't, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, on the whole camera video, so I, yeah. I just say try and film as, as, as much as possible. Yeah. It's like, it's it's just so amazing to start get feeling comfortable on the yes, camera. Yes, yes. It t it takes long. It does take some time. Definitely. So I remember I'm still, I I'm still when learning. When I when I was at school, I had the privilege of being head boy in my final yes. year. I was okay. With, I was fine with doing speeches in front of people, yeah. like okay. in 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 real life. Okay. But it was during COVID time, so we needed to do yeah. way more video, video messages, analysis. which is probably why some of them have blown yeah. up on okay, on YouTube. Okay, okay. And um. And when, as soon as they put a camera in front of me, I would like struggle okay. a lot. Um, okay. And then I think over like f filming loads of videos, you, you kind of get, get comfortable. Get comfortable. Yeah. But yeah. And it's kind of made like my love and my creative okay. side, my love for video and my creative yeah. side come out yeah. from this part that yeah. like storytelling through yes. the camera. Yes. I just, I just love it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel, I feel that's it, man. Yeah. I just want to say thank you for coming on. We have, we've been planning this for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exams, exams, exams yeah. Maple, but yeah, it's good to finally um, get it done. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. As he's saying of Thanksgiving, mm. the fact that we're able to worship him in this country mm. is freely is without free. persecution. Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? I love God. Uh, okay, go on. Love God. Love God. Do you have anything to say? Me? Do you have anything to say? Um, love God. Are you too good? I'm going to be spirit today. We're so good. Mm -hmm. Make sure that next time, don't miss out. Don't miss out. Literally. Do you have anything to say? Um, yeah, we love God. Love God. Love God. Love God. Amen. Love God. Follow and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Love God. Period. Per. Ring that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding.